Welcome back to NBA Today. We have a developing story. The NBA has suspended Suns owner Robert Sarver for one year and fined him $10 million after an investigation found that he had engaged in what the league called, quote, workplace misconduct and organizational deficiencies. And here are some of Sarver's notable transgressions. This is according to the report. Sarver repeated the N-word when recounting statements of others at least five times. He made sex-related comments in the workplace and engaged in inappropriate physical conduct towards male employees. And Sarver engaged in demeaning and harsh treatment of employees that includes cursing and yelling, occasionally going over into bullying. We are now joined by Baxter Holmes, who initially reported this story along with Ramona Shelburne. Mark Spears back with us for a little bit of a reporter's roundtable. And Baxter, for, I, I just want to say, Excellent job, Respect, excellent Respect. reporting um, that has led to this report now by the NBA. But originally, you spoke with over 70 staffers within the Suns organization. And beyond what I just read, can you just explain some of the reaction to what I just said uh, this report found? There's a range of emotions. You know, you mentioned earlier in the show a female former staffer who described this as being a slap on the wrist, but also a measure of relief that what they said to the attorneys was taken seriously, that something actually happened. Um, I have a, a recent message from a current staffer who said, and I quote, I cannot express to you how mad and disappointed people are at the spineless nature of the NBA's decision. I also talked to a high-level executive who was in the context of what the punishment was for Donald Sterling and looking at the, the breadth of the NBA's report, the range of allegations, the time, the time period elapsed, can't understand and voices to me how this was not more severe. Spineless is the word that one former or one employee is using to you now. And just again, to remind folks what we shared earlier, it's barely a slap on the wrist is what one employee told you. Shows us the league truly doesn't stand for diversity, equity, or inclusion. I'm grateful to have the validation after being told I was insane and being dramatic. That definitely lets me breathe a little bit, but I'm angry. The league has failed us when they had the opportunity to stand behind its values. So you mentioned Donald Sterling, and I think for a lot of folks, this punishment, it immediately compared to Donald Sterling. He was banned for life in 2014. I, I want to show you all some tweets from Jamal Crawford, who played for the Clippers under Sterling, finished his career with the Suns under Sarver, and tweeted this earlier today after the news broke. Sterling 2.0 and seen this movie before was another tweet that he had. So Ramona, you were on the forefront of all the reporting surrounding Donald Sterling. What are you hearing about why the punishment was different here for Sarver versus for Sterling? Okay, so there's there's a couple main differences. When when Donald Sterling was caught by his former mistress or uh, V. Stiviano on tape, Making these making these horrible statements. He said, you know, don't bring black people to my games. He said, who makes the game? I make the game. They don't make the game. I mean, it was articulating a, a very racist worldview mm. that um, everyone could hear because it was released publicly on TMZ. Um, this is obviously Baxter's done incredible reporting. There was an extensive negotiation. There was an ex extensive investigation of the situation, but. I think sometimes it's a little different when you have, you know, you ca ca catch somebody red-handed and everybody can hear it on tape. Number two, I think, and this is and this is just uh, Im important to note, um, Adam Silver banned Donald Sterling for life, but he did not force him to sell the team. Hmm. If that makes sense, okay? He banned him for life, and if they, he, he had, there was going to be a, a vote for the Board of Governors to force him to sell the team if, if, if three-quarters of the owners had voted on that, but... Before they ever took a vote, his wife, Shelly Sterling, decided to sell the team. So it, uh, th it, this situation may come to that also. The punishment of one year and suspension and a $10 million fine, depending on how uh, Robert Sarver wants to handle this going forward, Donald Sterling, when he was banned for life and fined $2.5 million back in 2014, he sued the NBA and, and a bunch of other people in a suit for $1 billion. They ended up in court. He ended up suing his wife at, at one point. Um, and I sat in a courtroom as they articulated that. And one of the things that came out in that court case that ended up being with his wife, okay, and whether she had the ability to sell the team uh, without him agreeing to it because she sold Shelly Sterling sold the team without Donald Sterling participating in that sale 
Um, and that's a whole other long story of how she was able to do that. But when she was in court arg arguing why she did it, she showed that the team was in a financial crisis because all the advertisers and sponsors had mm. pulled out of the sponsoring the team and had threatened the NBA with that. Right. That showed that this, this situation with Sterling was financially damaging the league and, and the Clippers and gave Adam Silver the ability to act, quote unquote, within the best interests of the league. Back to story came out a year ago. Ramona. Have you seen the sponsor pull out? I don't care out? about right? the sponsors. I know. I don't care about the audio. I read. I read everything. Yep. Everything this yep. dude did. There's no excuse. He should be banned. I don't know how he gets a pass. Um, I don't care about the owner's vote. Mm -hmm. He should be banned. And then he could figure out if he wants to go to the game or not. There's no way he's not banned and wants to keep this team. They need him out. The big difference to me is that this didn't happen during the season. If this happened during the season, Chris Paul's going through this again, then I think that, yeah, the players, maybe this time they make the right move and instead of throwing their damn shirts, which did nothing, well, and Mark, you were they there actually, and I was at that game, yep. they actually don't play at all. And so yep. I'm curious to see what Book does. DA, CP, when you guys get back, this doesn't go away. Um, he needs to go, period. And, and, and I, I don't see how he sits courtside again or anything like that. Uh, he just needs to be out. I mean, I don't need an audio I read. It affected too many damn people. I, I just don't understand it. And I love Adam. He's done some amazing things, but this is a mistake. I think that it, it's not our place sitting here today to negotiate a better or worse scenario here. These are two separate scenarios, both with completely unacceptable behavior. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.